Hello and welcome to episode 41 of the Witch and Its podcast. I'm Shy, I am a witch and I knit, I crochet sometimes, I sew, I do bullet journaling, I do all sorts of crafty, witchcrafty things and I like to sit down and talk to you about it on my channel sometimes. Emphasis on sometimes, it's been a while again, I'm sorry. Today it is Thursday, it is the 19th of November and I'm super tired so I've got a tub of coffee to help me through this. Um, so, um, I don't have an awful lot to talk about this time. Last time we celebrated the one year anniversary and also the thousand subscribers. There's almost a hundred more of you now. I'm blown away. Hello everybody! <laughs> welcome back if you're a returning year and a very warm welcome to you if you're new here. I hope you like it here. Um, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, I think I'll just jump right into what I've been working on because um, there is a lot to chat about this time. I'm just here and I've been away again uh, but yeah I'll maybe get into that a little bit later but yeah what I have been working on I have a couple of I have a couple of FOs and I have a couple of whips uh, yeah so let's start with the whips first of all I've got in my this little bag that I made um, no that's that was a lie. That's my leftover zooming over Christmas. Because, spoiler, that one is done. Um, I need to go get a bag. Right, so that was an accidental lie. It's in this bag, uh, which I didn't make myself. <laughs> and in here lives... This is ugly because I had to rip out. This was a cake. This is now some sort of ball. Um, grapefruit shaped ball. But, um... I had to rip out what I'd done, I'd gotten past to heal. Uh, but I have restarted and I have a Pico edge for a sock. I don't really know what this is going to look like but it's another sock for the festive sock along. Uh, this is a Christmas colourway from Variable Difference, it's called Tree Lights and it's green obviously and it's got all these little colour specks of blue and red slash pink and yellow and also some white. It's really pretty. I, look, I really like this yarn. Um, I was going to make a textured pattern. I am trying to design something again because I've fallen down that rabbit hole quite massively and I want to design all the things now. Uh, but um, this one I am trying to think of something to do um, but in case I can't think of something to do with it anytime soon because the um, deadline is quickly approaching for the uh, sock along it's on the 1st of December um, I might just, I don't know do a Hermione sock, even though it has a Pico edge. I don't know, I would just maybe do another one of my snow globes or something. But I kind of want to get a bubble gum pink yarn and make a bubble gum sock out of my snow globe pattern. I don't know if you remember that, it's got bubbles. Uh, I need to make another pair of those at some point and show you. They're not on blockers because they live in my sock drawer now, but these are my snow globe socks. And I need to write this down and I need to make another pair because this, if I remember correctly, was really fun and the squishy. This yarn is by the Fibre Fox. This is the Peppermint... no. What's it called? Oh, almost said Pepperminty. Peppermint Creams, it's called. Peppermint Creams got away from Fibre Fox. Um, and it's also got a little pico edge, so yeah. Uh, those I made though last year, two years ago? Can't remember, it's been a while. Uh, but anyway, working on a new pair of socks, trying to come up with the design. I have so many ideas, but 
I'm not really quite there mentally to actually execute those ideas because they involve a lot of thinking. Which my brain is a bit too tired to do. But anyway, that's my first whip. And my second whip lives in this big bag. Um, and it is a test knit of a, uh, of a jumper for Ellie of Curio Stitches. And it is the new upcoming design Feline Phantom. It's got a spooky cat on it. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, yesterday I um, grafted, no, banged off together. I, I made the shoulders happen yesterday as well as finishing the back which is just plain black and the front has a spooky cat ghost on it. And it's so pretty. I really like this. Uh, this was not my first time doing intarsia knitting, but it was my first time doing it, uh, first time doing it properly in so many years. It's been since like way before I started knitting like this. Uh, I did some intarsia knitting when I was in high school, I think. Um, I can't do maths. I'm 28. And I did it when I was 16, probably. So that's... I cannot math. You do the maths. But anyway, it's quite a long time ago. And for this one I did Indasha, so this is like the inside. I haven't done anything to any of the ends, but this is the inside. Looks really neat. It was really fun to try that. And yeah, I am going to start the sleeves today and then I am going to be seaming it together once I have the sleeves done. So yeah, this has been a really quick knitting project. Um, it's very big so it's hard to get on screen but I want you to see the pretty cat face because cat face has got a big cat face. Yes, I am working on this. Um, again, test knit of an upcoming design by Ellie of Curio Stitches and I am knitting this out of, this is Curio Stitches yarn and this is um, Vulevo or Vulevo, I guess, but they kind of missed an opportunity with how they spell, spell it is Vulevo, I would read that as, but they could have just wool et vous. so French because puns are fun in several languages but anyway they could have done that they didn't but anyway it's this for the black uh, which I bought 10 balls of um, in a um, in a bit of a panic state because I started knitting this with the black campus yarn I showed you last time um, and it was a bit thinner than the, uh, the green but the biggest problem was that, I mean, well, campus yarn is it's alright, it's alright when it comes to like how soft it is it's quite soft on its own, it's perfectly wearable and quite squishy especially when you washed it, but pair it with beautiful superwash, squishy, 100% merino, indie dyed, beautiful yarn, and you're like, this texture combination is not working for me. I had a bit of a, you know, tactile panic. I'm the kind of person who really doesn't like touching things that are scratchy and in comparison it felt very scratchy. Uh, I can't deal with like touching dry skin, I can't dry, uh, deal with like sandpaper sometimes, it's ugh, I can't touch it, it's it's just sending gear of my spine. Um, and the combination kind of did that to me, so I had to like 
quickly buy some soft yarn. So I made sure to get yarn to that was like a bit closer in um, metrage and thickness as well. And yeah, as you can tell, it worked out really well. <laughs> and it is not quite as soft as this, but it's almost there, so it's okay. It's very soft as well, but this is like airy and just like a little cloud. And it's beautiful as well, this is the cake. Um, I thought I'd use some more, but uh, it turns out maybe it is because I did an intarsia uh, that you don't use as much yarn as if I would have done this stranded, which maybe the pattern was originally written for. Um, but I was like, mm, that's going to be a lot of floats, I'm just going to try doing intarsia. And I did. So, um, yeah, I have this much left. This is going to become something really nice and squishy. I was about to say a hat, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Plus, I already knit a hat this year for me. And David um, kind of nicked my old hat. And he has another hat that I've made him years ago. Uh, and he has a lot of hats. So I don't think he needs a green hat. But we'll see. This will be something for me because it is ah, beautifully soft. Maybe a cowl. Yeah, maybe a cowl. You can always do with more cows. So yeah. It's like the perfect spooky ectoplasm green as well, so it goes perfectly with the spooky cat. Oh, it's the cat face! Hello, cat face! Meow meow! So, yeah, that is my feline phantom test knit, and I talked about that for a very long time. So, yeah, um, F O's, F to the O's. Oh no, I have another wet bit sewing, so I will... And one of my FOs is sewing as well, but let me do the knitted FO. I finished my Golden Wreath socks. Here they are, I already posted these on my Instagram, so you've probably seen them if you follow me, but this is what they turned out like. This is them on the blockers. This is Stranded Dye Works is, um Zooming in for Christmas, which is this, which is this year's Christmas colorway, uh, and it is the BFL nylon sock base. This is wool and vine on the Nuvo base, which is a single ply, which is why I only did the cuff and the pattern in it because single ply. I don't want, I don't want them to fall apart, like the first time I use them, but. It's beautifully soft and squishy, and it's the colourway Revenge of the Harpsichord, and the white is just some undyed I had in my stash from last year when I tried dyeing some yarn, which I really want to get back into at some point soon, hopefully, and also fluff, but I'll get into the fluff. I have exciting news about fluff, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, these are my socks. I designed them myself. They have a um, an eye partridge heel cap flap thing and they have a gusset un as if you can see it if I hold them like this and they have a gusset under the heel and yeah I will write these up eventually I need to maths the heels for bigger sizes is I I'll knit this with um, um, I knit 56 stitches on 2mm needles for me. Um, sometimes I go at 48. I have ridiculous feet, they're very small, and yeah, um, but these are me with 56 because I know not many people knit on 48 stitches, so yeah, I wanted to cut myself some slack. So. These are 48, I think, uh, but 
yeah, if I design something, I tend to, that, that I at some point want to put out in the world as a pattern, um, I make sure to design it in 56 stitches because I can wear that, but, and, and also I don't have to make all of those massy things, but maybe I should make 48 as well because that's like a teen slash preteen size, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should keep the 48 stitches as well, but nah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Most of when I do patterns like this or like the bubbles and uh, or bubble stitch rather than bubbles, it's not really bubbles, bubbles, god, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Um, I do them in like sets of four or eight so it's easy to go up or down four or eight stitches depending on how you want to. Um, alter your socks. These are my golden wreath socks. Again, I designed them myself and they were for the festive sock along hosted by Amy Flores of Stranded Podcast and Stranded Dye Works. Did I say Knit Works earlier? I meant Dye Works. Um, anyway, yeah. God, ramble, ramble. I, this is the first time I'm speaking today. Um, which is usually the case when I film, so I end up saying a lot of just stupid shit. But anyway, uh, sewing. Let's, let's do some sewing. I have been doing a bit more on my, it's full of cat fluff now. A um, bit more on this. Uh, I can't remember, it's, I think it's supposed to go that way. A um, bit more on this. It is going to be a project bag at some point. No, actually it goes like that, I think. Anyway, or maybe it is like that. I don't know. Go some way. I have the uh, map mapping out of it on my computer. But anyway, it's, it's paper piecing. It's got paper in it. I'm going to take all of the paper pieces out once I've finished sewing them together. Uh, going to be a quilted project bag for me. Um, and it is out of fabric scraps. Obviously some scraps from my blouse that I'm still working on. I haven't touched it in a very long time because I have not had the brains to redo the sleeves. It will happen. I really want to wear it so it will happen. I just, my sojo has said goodbye for now. Not really but like my advanced thinking sojo has gone bye bye for now. Um, but yeah, done some more on that. Uh, this is just one of the sides. This can, it's going to be about that much more, uh, and then another side. And I think I'm going to do a um, black square bottom, and then a zipper. So yeah, that is that is happening. And my second sewing thing, I have some stuff cut out. I think I mentioned last time as well, I cut out pieces for the skirt out of the orange uh, tartan fabric I bought, but I uh, haven't gotten around to that. I did buy buttons though, and I bought some more fabric. I bought some red fabric and some green fabric, um, but they are in queue for being washed, so I can't really show them, but I will once they are washed. Um, those are probably also going to be skirts or dresses. The green, I think, is going to be a dress. But anyway, I made a project bag for me. It says witch in it. It's got this cute little cross stitch. Um, Ellie wrote me a while back and was like, Do you want to do a cross stitch together? Like a little cross stitch along. And I said, of course, I love cross stitching and she picked out this pattern which is a cute little witch hat. Um, so I decided to embroider it onto a project bag or well piece of fabric that I then made into a project bag. Um, I have a lot of 
waste cameras and I have zero either left <laughs> so uh, I just went with that and I think it turned out super cute it's got some gold thread which is a pain to work with but pretty so um, yeah I made that it's got a square bottom it's quite tall <laughs> I don't know um, I threw it and it's also it's got interfacing and it's got black lining um, and drawstrings and oh my god these um, that's I just put that there because I had something in it and then I had my feline phantom in this uh, before it got too big but yeah this is um, yeah a bit tall I did not really measure like I should have but like I said mathsy stuff are a bit too it's a bit too advanced for me at the moment so I um, I kind of winged it but it's it's a perfectly fine bag it's just a bit tall <laughs> but that's okay so yeah I made that um, like I said it's got interfacing so it's quite sturdy and it's got a square bottom and it's got this cute little embroidery piece and I um, I just designed something for the letters um, had a look around on cross stitch fronts on Pinterest and did something based on several I don't remember where I even have the notes for it but um yeah no I just did this and the mitts if you can even see that it's just free-handed so yeah I did that that was fun uh, yeah spinning um, I am working my way through spinning this on my wheel I have to remove what's on the wheel for now and keep spinning because my bobbin is full um, this is also by Curio Stitches. This is the colourway um, Cybergoth and it's on 100% Perindale. It is very nice and very nice to spin as well. It's very, um, it drops, drops very well. So yeah, I am looking forward to finishing this spin. Um, I have finally been getting my my wheel to do what I want again. <laughs> it was sitting in front of an open window for, for an afternoon a while back and, and it went kind of wonky and then I had to um, sort out the drive bands and it's just been not really cooperative but it's, it's, it's fine now. But yes, I just need to empty my bobbin because I only have one. I really should try and get my hands on some more bobbins because it's a bit of a pain to just have one but yeah I'm working my way through this I have about 50 grams on the wheel um, a bit less but yeah and then I am working on again I haven't done a lot on this since last time but I am working on this oh actually I've gotten into a new colour so yeah um, my Blomster Cooker by Garngelet, which is a Danish um, wool dyeing company, Indie Dyer of wool, maybe I should say, and it's on my spindle that I bought from Forby Farm on Forfest, which is a crystal spindle. So yeah, uh, working on that as well. Haven't done a lot of spinning, really. I worked on the. We went to visit my parents. Um, like three weeks ago now um, now we can't do that anymore because Sweden has very strict especially in like cities and we are in Stockholm so we can only see people we live with so I, I don't mind seeing only David we want everybody to be safe right um, It's not like we've seen a lot of people anyway. Um, we see his parents sometimes for dinner and we see brother and sister-in-law sometimes. But um, yeah, that probably isn't gonna happen for a while now. 
zooming of Christmas it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my spinning and fluff. Let me tell you about fluff. In here, I have some fluff. <laughs> um, with some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Leicester. It's quite lanoliny still. Um, but my mum and I bought six kilograms of wool from a uh, local to them. That's kind of one of the reasons we went to visit is we were going to go pick up the wool and wash it. Uh, I'm just going to put it back because it's obviously not been worked with yet. Um, so it's kind of just going everywhere. But yeah, we went to pick up some wool. Uh, we, uh, we we were going to go and just buy two kilograms, but we got a little bit carried away. Um, I've recently gotten my mum into spinning as well. And now she wants to like get um, hand carders and stuff. And yeah, it is fun. So we bought a lot of the white Leicester. We bought some Gotland, grey gray and black Gotland wool and some some really dark grey uh, lamb wool um, lamb, lamb's wool lamb wool as well so yeah we got through a lot of it um, like washing a lot of it when I was there but she's since washed the rest so really excited to pick it up but we also need to get carders because um, I don't have I have a pair but they are antique and half broken and I think they will just live on as um, curiosities basically um, <laughs> because they are quite old they came with my wheel which is also quite old so um, I'm just going to keep those asses and get a pair of new ones or make a pair of new ones um, so yes that is that. So I'm excited to do some dyeing, some wool dyeing and spinning that once I have worked with it a bit and I can't wait to get grey wool, especially like we were gonna like um, split it like um, I get most of the black wool and she gets most of the lighter wool because she's not a huge fan of black but I am so it's all very very nice and also like going to somebody's tiny farm to pick up some wool that they just got off like they, they just sheared the sheep the day before and oh I have farm envy <laughs> I want that life I like super cute ducks and chickens just running all around the the, the garden and oh the sheep were so cute and they had really cute cat and two cute dogs and they had horses and bees and I'm jelly I want that I want it now <clears throat> at some point in the future maybe but we'll see about that but to get the um, Enhancements, as to enhancements past the wall. Um, I also already showed you my voulu voo. I'm waiting on some yarn that I just paid customs for. I hope it will arrive tomorrow, but it will have to go on my Instagram instead of here, and this like next week or the week after that, depending on when I can film. But I was hoping it would be here today. It will probably show up like late today just because I've finally sat down to film. But uh, I got these. These are from Witchcraft Occult and they are stitch markers slash um, progress keepers, inverted pentagrams in the sour candy colorway. I managed to grab some stitch markers in there uh, and 
Halloween update. They had a massive Halloween update with lots of super pretty stitch markers. But yeah, I got these. I'm super happy. It was one of the... I had two that I wanted to get, but the, the other one was sold out. But I managed to get this one, which was one of the two I wanted. So I was really happy. Really cute and so bright. I can totally recommend buying from Harry. It's the the things are all so pretty. Um, I mean, I've only seen these in real life, but oh my god, they're so pretty. If you like witchy things like pentagrams and coffins and stuff like that, Ouija planchettes and stuff like that, definitely check out Witchcraft Occult. They have amazing things. And I cannot wait for the next shop up update because I'm going to try and, and um, get some more markers. So yeah, this has been living in my feline phantom, but uh, for, since I bound off for the shoulders, um, they are not in my feline phantom. God, I probably need to stop filming soon because I can feel my brain has, has gone bye bye for real now um, but yeah <laughs> I'm sorry um, yeah life uh, quick life update I guess because um, I probably sound like there's something really um, bad going on with my brain it's, it's not I just dissociate a very lot and um, I'm restarting I mean I've been in therapy again for quite some time now I've had therapy for quite some time now but we haven't really had a plan for it but we do now and it's going to be quite intensely trauma focused finally it's what I need but um, because so far it's, it's been a bit all over the place Therapy. It's been rough, but it's also been a bit all over the place. And part of the reason it's been rough has been because it's like, what do you mean? Like me asking my therapist, what on earth do you mean? Like, um, why why are we here? What are we doing? I thought we were doing this. I thought we were talking about this from like from one time to the other. It's been very flip floppy. It feels better now. Um, regarding what will happen in therapy at the same time I'm a bit terrified and we're also thinking of new diagnostics and uh, it's it's a lot and um, yes um, wh when I go brain goes bye bye it can't speak I uh, probably need to stop filming it's not because there's something awful going on oh it is awful awful why this happens but but I'm, I'm not ill, um, I just dissociate a lot and sometimes it makes it near impossible to speak coherently without pausing, which is difficult. So there you have it. Yeah, so um, I'm probably going to stop filming here. Um, because I don't really have a lot else to say. That's what's going on in my life. And yeah, this is what I'm working on. So I hope to be able to come back and film sooner than in three weeks again. Because <laughs> it's been a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and for being here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you in my next one as well. Um, as usual, all my links and show notes and everything will be in the description box below, which also has a link to my Ravelry group if you are on Ravelry, uh, and my blog for show notes on there, my Instagram, stuff like that. It's all down there. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring to bell button if you want to do that to get notifications when I upload all the YouTube stuff that you're supposed to say at the end of the video <laughs> but yeah um, comment something if you feel like it and yeah 
have a wonderful weekend and week after that, two weeks, how long until I see you again and I will talk to you again soon. Have a wonderful time, I will see you again soon. Bye!